Okay, so in front of us we have a Hadron 1.1 20 meter. So Kev and Josie have lent me this wing to test out because I'm going to be focusing heavily on comps this year. Uh, the Roaster 1 just isn't going to cut it anymore. So we're in search of a new wing. This is full reflex, it's got 2D steering tip steering um, should be faster and efficient more efficient than the roadster people look for speed a lot of the time in gliders when sometimes it's not always about speed but efficiency and especially in comps and on the eco task efficiency is king so we're going to get clipped in get in the air and see what we think of the hadron 1.1 clear prop the wind today has been switching all over the place because it's so calm and nominal it is blowing from the right, I can feel it. I may have to just dab the left brake. So I'm waiting for this to switch a Rooney. Come on. Nah. No, what happened? That when you pulled forward, yeah. you pulled that, that side over. Oh uh, right. And you didn't look back and I was gonna come and sort it, but those won't let me. Is any <laughs> That'll do the job. Just a touch too much. Yeah, because it's so light, I'm not used to it being that light, I think. This time. Thanks, mate. Clear prop. That corner, yeah, I thought it'd just pop out, would it not? I might, but last time it threw the Yeah, all right, okay. Clip prop. Go on. Yeah. Nice one, Dan. Oh, well, we got managed to launch. That wind has been tricky all day. Oh, that turns really nicely with barely any input. Right then. So the Hadron 1.1. Oh. I'm honest. I don't really know a lot about it. It's a full reflex glider with 2D steering. So if I pull more across, I'm pulling in more of the tips. It's about 20 past 11 at the moment. So we're in the height of the thermals today and there is pretty much nil wind. So they're going straight up. So I'm gonna get bumped around a little bit and we'll see how we do. Now currently if I look down at my ground speed, I'm doing about 40 kilometers an hour. Now, that in relation to the Roadster, that's the Roadster trimmed out and fully speed bar, and this is on trim three. So I'm already a lot, lot quicker on this. So this has also got tip steering for when we trim out as well. And at the moment, we've got a little bit of pitch and roll going on because of the kind of day we're having being, well, thermic up until one then it starts to drop off so I am actually flying in the worst stuff you can dampen it down a little input like that but like I said on the ground the whole reason I'm looking at another wing is because this year I'm going to mainly focus on comps so I'm going to try a few different wings early on in the season so I can use the new wing to train on and when the comp comes around I'll be very comfortable on it and I'll know what it can do. And I did put an advert out for a snake, an original profile snake, not the Snake XX because that is way too up there. Albeit some of you might think that the Hadron 1.1 is up there. Uh, all in all, I'm taking it very sensibly and if you respect the wing, and you don't do any crazy stuff down low or don't find really shit conditions which 
I suppose I am doing today, but the, the cumulus clouds are a lot wider than they are taller, so they're not blowing off massive thermals. But the 1.1, yeah, currently we've got a little bit of oscillation, but I can't tell whether that's because of these thermals or not. We're about four or five at trim, and we are doing 46k an hour. That's pretty good. I can't really test the efficiency because I haven't got much time with it. It's just, it's a chance to test fly it and see what it's like. They are supposed to be quite efficient and good cross-country wings and the Hadrons, being what they are, they are pretty much built for being fast and efficient. So, in terms of competitions, people flying them have won a lot of competitions. That does also come down to pilot skill level as well. Anyway, so this is where we're at. I'm looking for a new wing and like I said, because of the comps, I'm going to be putting a lot of hours into training for next year's national championship. Bumpy, but okay. Um, however, that doesn't mean I'm going to stop the videos because at the moment, I've got about 20 to 25 videos at home ready to be released. But they are back in time a bit because I've been busy getting ready for the comps and doing that. So what's going to happen in the next near future is we're going to go back in time. We're going to go and look at the progress I've made up until the comps and then we'll be up to date. So there's really good things to come. There's a few secrets in there. We've also hit a thousand subscribers, might I add. Thank you everyone for that. And I will be doing a giveaway for that at some point. I am just waiting for the prize to be in stock. I will buy it, it's a very good prize. I will announce it absolutely everywhere. I hope you guys enter and win and it's a way of me giving back something to, to you guys for being there and supporting me through the adventures that I've been going on so far. So I'll keep this short, although I've done a lot of rambling. And uh, yeah, I'll see you back in time. Make sure you hit the like button if you like the video, albeit a weird one. If you loved it and you want to see more, hit subscribe. Don't forget the bell notification. And until then, I will see you up in the air. I like this Hadron, this is quite quick. Be interested to see what the snake's like.